Hello and welcome to the third episode of Real Talk with DGS. I'm Tyler and this is Danny. And today we will be discussing Spider Man. So, movie news for this week. Danny, start us off. All right. We have a Hulk solo movie being rumored to come out after The Avengers Age of Ultron. This coming from Lou Ferrigno, who is now a new consultant for the Hulk. What? What's going on, man? Uh, nothing. Yeah. Just talking about just it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Talking about it in Minnesota, and uh, apparently there are people in Minnesota, and we figured that out from those kind of folks down there. I didn't think that there were people in Minnesota. Apparently there is. I thought there was just Vikings. <laughs> All right. Yay, football. Uh, the cast of Star Wars Episode Seven has been released, and it does include Mark Hamill. You said Hamill this time. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. And then a bunch of nobodies. Yeah, a bunch of new young people. I mean, hey, this this is how they're going to get started, probably, so more power to them. All right, to wrap up our new section, um, <laughs> The Amazing Spider-Man 2 has destroyed everybody this week at the box office. Just and it like just started. Electro was destroyed. Spoiler. Yes, Electro destroyed stuff. Yes. But it made $35.5 million on Friday, and it's on pace for around $92, $93 million for the weekend. If I had that many dollars, I would buy... Pokers. Pokers. All right, now on to our next segment. So, as before mentioned, we will be talking about the Spider-Man franchise today. Pew, pew, because I'm pew, 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 pew. Psst. And <clears throat> as you know from watching our other episodes, which you you obviously have done. You should, or you should die. Or you should. That was a little far. Hey, that was harsh. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Please watch them. Seven days. Okay, we have five movies in this franchise. Actually, two franchises, but we have five movies in each of them, so we're going to take five minutes, one minute for every movie. And since last week he got cut off when he was talking, uh, oh, cool. he will start. All uh, right. You ready for this? You ready? Ready for this? I'm ready for this. And in three, two, one, go. All right, coming at number five for me, Spider-Man 3. I don't hate this movie like everybody. I actually thought it was my number four until I kind of thought about it a little bit more, and there's a lot going on. It's not as bad as everybody says, but there's just a lot going on, and there wasn't enough time to elaborate on every single yeah. villain. But I don't like it when people are like, oh, there's too many villains, because three. There were three of them. There are three in The Amazing Trace. Spider Man 2. We speak Spanish on this show. But I thought it was pretty alright. 65 out of 100 for Spider Man 3. I feel like exactly the same way, except I freaking hate the guy who plays Sandman. He was in George of the Jungle and I hated him, man. Yeah. And I give it a 56 out of 100. You didn't think you'd be hearing about George of the Jungle on our Spider Man episode, but you just did. Alright, coming in at number four for me The Amazing Spider Man. Too soon. <laughs> it was too soon to reboot it, and I didn't think the lizard was quite strong enough to be yeah. the villain just by himself. I mean, it was mainly just setting up the groundworks for more Spider Man movies, but I don't know. I didn't give it a chance when I first watched it, and I watched it again because I bought it like a couple weeks ago. And I don't know. I grew to like it a little bit more. 68 out of 100. Yeah, he's got. I don't like his accent. Is it real? Andrew Garfield's? Yeah. Uh, no, not no. I mean, oh, no. I'm like, anyways. Okay, my number four, is Spider Man Two, the Tobey Maguire one. Uh, I liked it when I was a kid. I liked it now, looking back on it. But Spider uh, Tobey Maguire just isn't my favorite Spider Man, and I give it a fifty-eight. 
All right, coming in at number three for me, the first Spider-Man. I'm going to say Tobey Maguire is the perfect Spider-Man. Painfully awkward. That's how you have to be, Spider-Man. Just painfully awkward. And Green Goblin's my favorite villain, so that... Don't laugh at him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was... Green Goblin's my favorite, so that helps. And I like the Green Goblin in this. It's a suit. And he's just like schizophrenic. The new, he's like a real that. goblin now. What? Yeah, and I liked how in the third one <clears throat> uh, that Harry avenged his father by becoming the Green Goblin because that's how it actually was in the comics. Yeah, and they don't turn into goblins literally. Yes. What's your score? Uh, that would be a 75 out of 100. My number three is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. We went and saw this last night. It was awesome. Ele- Electro was amazing. The only problem I have is that Harry was the original Green Goblin, and I didn't like that, and he looked retarded. And he was like, <laughs> wrong choice of words. <laughs> and that, I just, it hurt me inside, and I'm mad, but I'll get over it. He looked really stupid. He looked re- dumb. He looked like he Verdum. was deformed. He looked dumb. That's a new word. Look that up. I give it a 70 out of 100. All right, coming in at number two for me, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm trying not to fangirl over it because it was really good and saw it last night, but I don't know. Electro could have been a lot cooler than he was. I think he was really awesome still, but could have been cooler. Uh, They didn't include the rhino very much. Mm -mm. He literally had three minutes of screen time, maybe. But before. Yeah, before, counting both of them. Oh, right, three minutes. And I, what I really liked about Spider-Man 2 is normally, you know, every superhero movie, it's like, oh, build up, build up, big villain battle, then it's over, right? Well, they had two big villain battles, and then I really liked how he's like depressed and wasn't Spider-Man for a long time, and then he like. Yeah, fought. I'm not gonna tell you why. He fought at the end. Like I, I thought that was awesome how they had another Step, villain come in at up. the end, and he's like, "There's no place like home." <laughs> yeah, and it was awesome. You should probably see this movie, but uh, that would be a 76 out of 100. It can be interchangeable with Spider-Man for my two and three spot, but right now it's at my number two. All right, my number two is the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. It was my favorite movie as a kid, and it was pretty good even though he's not my favorite. And I give it a 70. Okay, my favorite, number one, Spider-Man 2. Doc Ock is so cool. This this movie had a blend of everything that you need in a superhero movie. And his arms were puppets half the time, and I love puppets. He's making puppet versions of us, but we'll talk about that another time. And... I don't know, everything just flowed together so smoothly and it had a great ending and Doc Ock can really support his own movie and he's going to probably be in the Amazing Spider-Man 3 or Sinister 6 movie that's coming out. So 77 out of 100 for Spider-Man 2. Trying to speed this up, we don't have very much time. Okay, I have 20 seconds. So my favorite is Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. It made me fall in love with the Amazing Spider-Man and I liked it and Andrew Garfield's my favorite Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 would be my favorite if it was just Spider-Man, they took out Green Goblin and I love Andrew Garfield. And I give it a... 78 out of 100. Oh! Boom. That's how it's done, people. So that is it for our Spider-Man franchise review. And we're going on to our movie suggestions for the week. See you there. Stay tuned. Ogre now. It's all ogre now. <sighs> okay, our movie suggestions of the week. Dan will start you off with a blockbuster big Hollywood movie, I will give you an interwebs short film and the interwebs <laughs> will give you the uh, poop movie of the week. Poop. Poop. Feces. All People right, for my suggestions, just to clarify, suggestions can also be low-budget indie movies, but yeah. they're full-length movies. So I have to do this because it's a Spider-Man episode. Go see The Amazing Spider-Man 2. See it. It's worth it. Love you- it. You should, could love it. Just like it, at least. Make, make be sure not to, you know, do anything too special in the movie too, theater. Too amazing. <laughs> too amazing in the movie theater because you'll get arrested for that. I've been arrested before. Okay, we'll I'm about later. gonna give now for the uh, short film of the week, uh, "Proximity" by Filmrite. The guys at Filmrite are amazing. They're like, I get so many tips from them, and they've helped me out so much. Like, we're filming something right now, and it looks a whole lot better than the first short film we put out, Guac, Creation of Guacamole. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. But that's not my suggestion. Go see Proximity by Filmrite. It's amazing, and it's about... Uh, it's it's a hard... It's I can't explain it, but 
it's it's really good. It's got like nice shots. It's got really nice cinematography. I think it was shot using a red epic, which is amazing. <laughs> I love to use one of those. And uh, yeah, so just go see it. Oh man! All right, now for our for you younger viewers, our poop <laughs> movie of the week. Poop. People over enjoy our pendulum movie. That didn't even make sense. But anyway, <laughs> Dread. Dread is the poop movie of the week. No, don't listen to him. I like Dread. It was it was hyped up so much, I like it didn't that. make any money yet. Everybody's like, sequel, sequel, sequel. But no, thirty-seven out of a hundred. Every kill is in slow motion. And that was the point. They took the drugs to get in slow motion. I take drugs to get in slow motion, but. It was stupid. I didn't like it. I don't remember the ending very much because I was so bored. I was just on my tablet. I'm like, this is a bad movie. Did you say that? I did. And then somebody destroyed my clan. How rude. How rude. <sighs> anyway, that's going to do it for this week at Real Talk with VGS. Don't miss us too much. We know you will. But uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter. You should do that. That's always a good one. Subscribe to our channel. If you don't do that, then uh, the the bear strike is on here. And like and comment this video. And go watch our videos. Our past ones. They're good. You'll enjoy them. I enjoy them. I enjoyed them. I'm not a paid actor saying that. That's true. That's true. I said that I enjoy them and that I am not being held at gunpoint. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.